Hello, and welcome to James Lessons Express Lane, where we get you out as fast as possible. This movie actually came out a while ago, but I finally got around to watching it. Uh, my friend and I were doing a thing where I make him watch a movie he's never watched. He has me watch a movie I've never watched. I had him watch Brightburn. He enjoyed it. He had me watch this. I enjoyed it. Knives Out. Uh, American Family. And I think it was Virginia. Anyways... The guy down there in the middle, the old man, he's a famous author. A ton of books out there, 60 million sold, just swimming in money. His family, kind of assholes. His nurse, great person, nice person he knows. Ah, oh, man, Jamie Lee Curtis, I love her, but uh, she was running a business that I started from the ground up. You mean your daddy gave you a million dollar loan that you never had to pay back? Typical. Kind of like, oh, Jeff Bezos started in a garage. Jeff Bezos started off with a quarter million dollar loan from his parents. None of that starts from scratch. None of them went, oh, no, I tripped over a quarter. I'm going to use this quarter to start a billion dollar industry. No, it's, yeah, my great granddaddy found a business and then my granddaddy and then my daddy. And now I have money. Anyways. That's what this whole family was. Or like the one was a influencer on Instagram. I don't know what the fuck that means. But she never had to worry about money. And her daughter didn't have to worry about money. Daughter's going off to college. Tuition paid by the grandfather. Everything's paid by him. Ransom, you can see over there. Played by Chris Evans. His entire life. His car, his house, his drug habit. Funded by granddaddy. None of these people have ever worked a day in their life except for the nurse. And then one night, 85 years old, it's his birthday, everyone's over, yay. His mom's there, and everyone's like, no joke, they even have it in the show, I mean, in the movie. How old is she? We don't know. No one knows. <laughs> She's just old. Mind you, again, the, man, the old guy down there is 85, so his mom's even older. Over 100, at least. <laughs> but you get the great cast characters again. Yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis. You get Chris Evans. Love Chris Evans. Love Jamie Lee Curtis. Bunch of others. But, uh, that night, he goes to bed. His nurse is like, all right, we'll play one game of sh go. She beats him like she always does. All right, you have a good night. She leaves, says, oh, bye. Oh, God, that nasty cigar that uh, Walter's smoking. Oh, who played Walter? They can't remember who played Walter. Oh, doesn't matter. Anyway, so yeah, the guy who played Walter, is, he's the son of the author, and he's the p publisher. Oh, well, like, what does he do as a publisher? Oh, Dad hands him a book twice a year and says, okay, get it out there. Anyway, so he's outside smoking a cigar. They all see her leave. She leaves. That morning, all right, let's go wake Grandpa up. Oh, my God, he slit his own throat. It's suicide. He slit his own throat. But Daniel Craig is a investigator of sorts. Not exactly Sherlock Holmes, but yeah, that's the best thing to think of to describe him. He's Sherlock Holmes, but he's from Kentucky. Why they made Daniel Craig do a southern accent, which he did very well, I will admit. I kind of took over his body. But he did a very good southern accent. He's, he's working with the police and like, ah, ah I think there's more behind us. Again, I can't do a southern accent. And he's investigating and he pretty much takes on the nurse as his homes. Because she's the only one that he trusts to find out, was it really suicide? And if it was suicide, why did he commit suicide at that moment? What was going on behind the scenes? <laughs> Really good movie, really good whodunit. Especially if you watch with people who haven't watched it, you can all try to guess, oh, who did this, who did that, what do you think is going to happen, who do you think did it, how they did it. Definitely worth watching, especially it was on what, Amazon, I think it was on Amazon Prime. My friend pays for like the Stars Package show, he gets it, and Brightburn. Watch that too, but uh, I don't want to spoil anything yet, I'll do that after the review. Oh, this movie's been out for like, what, eight months, nine months? So I'm sure a lot of you would be like, oh, we already saw. We already know what happened. But I will say 8 out of 10 at least. 
if you do like a group thing, you know, you're all trying to guess who did this, who did what, how it happened, probably a 9 out of 10 experience. Yeah, I would say 9 out of 10 experience to do it with friends. But we're going to do a spoiler section. And un, deux, trois, cop. All right, here we go. She thinks she gave him a fuck ton of morphine. I was like, oh, well, what happens? Well, first you start getting the shakes, then your heart shuts down, then you die. How about how long that takes? Eh, 10 minutes. Hmm, take at least 15 minutes for an ambulance to get here. Look, I don't want you to get in trouble. It was, they were playing Go. She had like his actual medicine. Then he had hurt her shoulder and he got three milligrams of morphine a night. She thought she was, well, he loses. He's like, oh no, there's an, like, well, no, he's about to lose. Oh no, there's an earthquake. He shakes the table and then dumps the, the game over. Like, haha, that's so cute. No, that's cute. No, it's, it's a cute old man thing to do. Like, oh no, there's an earthquake. Flip the table. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're such a poor loser. How come you always ain't going to beat me? Because I'm not trying to beat you. I'm just trying to make a pretty picture. But the medicine was on the table. Gets knocked over. She picks them up. They're both in the same kind of bottles. Very similar. And I know she picks it up. Injects him with his medicine. And then she's like, all right, time for the good stuff. And then she looks up. I was like, wait a minute. Uh, I just gave you 100 milligrams of good stuff. How are you supposed to give me? Three milligrams. Oh, that's a lot less. No, no, what happens? Well, and within 10 minutes, you'll get the shakes, her shuts down, you die. Long before the ambulance get there. But I have narc supply, narc supply, something like that. Antidote, it'll counter it. And it's not in a bag. What the, where is it? It's in my bag. It came with a kit. I know I have it because it came with the kit. I was like, you know what? I don't want you to get in trouble for this. It's not a mistake. I, 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 you're too good of a person to get in trouble for this, so leave. Go out and just make no people see you that you left, and then on, though the coroner will be like, oh, he died at this time. Well, that's 12 minutes after, or however many minutes after she left. She leaves. He slits his throat, blood everywhere, falls over dead. As it turns out, she gave him the right stuff. She just didn't realize it. Because asshole over there, Ransom, played by Chris Evans, snuck into the room. Like, to get up to the bedroom where the guy stayed, creaky stairs. No matter where in your house, you hear the stairs creak. So he crawled up the wall, went in through a window to get around the staircase, sucked out the morphine, sucked out the actual medicine stuff, switched the bottles. So the bottle of the actual medicine that she gives him 100 milligrams of had morphine in it, and the morphine had their medicine. What happened is, she been doing it for so long, she knew, like, the viscosity and how the chemicals reacted, that even when the labels were covered up, which is how Daniel Craig proved it, even when the labels covered up, she was able to go, nope, that's not morphine, that's morphine. She knew what was morphine, just by, like, the way it moved in the bottle. And so even though, the, you know, the old guy flips the table, she... Picks up the what she thought was the wrong one. It was that she actually picked up the right one. Because it didn't matter what set on the label. She could tell by the way the the liquid whatever moved in the bottle. And so even though Ransom switched out the bottles. It turns out it didn't matter because she still gave him the right one. But they didn't know that. Again her and the old guy thought she had given him a fuck ton of morphine. He was going to die so he slit his throat. Because well what does this matter? Because he left everything to her. He left everything to the nurse. Cut off his family entirely. For Walter, I was like, his job is the publisher. Well, if I get cut off from everything and everything goes to her, if she doesn't hire me as a publisher, we're boned. And try to throw you off the trail of what actually happened. Walter wants to sell the rights to a couple books to Netflix to make movies. The author will not do that. The grandfather, father, whatever, he will not do that. He wants no movies, no TV shows, nothing like that. Books only. It's like, well, if he kills him off and he gets his inheritance, he stays as the publisher, he can be like, the fuck do well, I care what he wanted? I want to make a fuck ton of money with Netflix. I'm going to sell the rights of this book and that book to Netflix and make millions more. When they come back to me like, hey, those books turned into movies did really well. We want to do more. All right, makes sense. 
Then you find out the Instagram influencer with her daughter that was going off to college had everything paid for by the grandfather. She was being cut off. Why was the Instagram influencer being cut off? Because she had called her father's account. And was like, hey, make sure when you send my daughter's uh, tuition, you make you send me the check and I'll make sure it gets to the college. While the grandfather had been told, like, you know, just send it directly to the college. So he's paying the college. And then his accountant is paying the daughter. The daughter's embezzling money. He's like, well, because you fucked. That's, that was one thing I didn't like. It's like, all right, so your daughter stole from you, but your granddaughter didn't. Your granddaughter's no believe She's off in college. She doesn't know what the fuck's going on. So I, I can totally see cutting off the daughter, but why cut off the granddaughter? She didn't do anything wrong. Anyways, so he's cutting her off. And then, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and her husband, turns out her husband's been cheating on her. Grandfather found out and confronted her like, hey, you tell my daughter or I'll tell her for you. So, well, that gives Richard, the husband, reason to kill off the old man. Uh, they make, and of course, he's cutting off Ransom. He tells Ransom, I'm cutting you off. So that gives Ransom reason to kill him off. It's like all these things are going on. It's like, well, he has reason. She has reason. She has reason. He has reason. The only person in this who doesn't have a reason is the nurse and the mom. She's just like, during the party, it's like, Grandma, Grandma, do you want food? Grandma. Oh, hi, Ransom. Like, doesn't know what's going on. Can't hear. But yeah, so like, everyone has a reason to kill him. But then you find out that Ransom climbed up the wall from the outside, snuck in through a window, switched out the medicine, but the nurse is such a good nurse that she, not even known was labeled on the bottle, knew which one was morphine, which one was medicine, gave them the right stuff, but, like, she looks like, wait a minute, I just gave you 100 milligrams of morphine. Oh, shit, you're gonna die. Guy kills himself. Then you watch, as you go through the movie, Daniel Craig is very good. He's Sherlock Holmes, pretty much. And so she's trying to, like, all right, I'm gonna... Oh, uh, we'll watch the video from the gate and all that, see who left and when they left. And she's like, oh, shit. I was supposed to park at this point, not this point. They're gonna see me on camera parking, getting out, seeing it back in. Oh no, the VCR thing ate the tape. Oh, how tragic after I pressed the wrong button. Oh, how horrible. Or uh, the path that she went through. Oh, it's muddy. Oh, well, we can just use the footprints. Like she walks forward. Hey, hey, stop, stop. Hmm, what? As she keeps walking through the path so she would have her, her footprints. It's like, oh, that's when my footprints got there because I walked, I just walked through. So you got all this great stuff with her. Trying to like cover up what she did or what she thinks she did at least. While Daniel Craig's trying to figure out A, who did it, and B, who paid him, who hired him. He doesn't know. All he knows is he wakes up, checks his mailbox, like, huh, here's an envelope with a fat stack of cash saying, hey, investigate this. He was hired because it was ruled a suicide. Well, if it's ruled a suicide, the nurse gets everything because that's what the will said. But if Ransom could prove that she gave him too much morphine and that's what killed him, then she gets nothing because, uh, what is it, the Slayer rule. If you kill someone to get their inheritance, you don't get that inheritance, even if you're left in the will as the only person who gets whatever. You get nothing because Slayer rule. I don't know, I thought it was about Buffy the Vampire Slayer too. Anyways. But again, she didn't give him too much. She gave him what she was supposed to give him. She just thought she gave him too much morphine. So it goes from trying to figure out who did what to Daniel Craig trying to prove that she's innocent and she didn't give him too much morphine. There's a lot of great twists and turns in this. And I think if you haven't watched it, you should still watch it even though I just told you like what happens. You should still watch it because I want to watch it again. It's a good movie. I'm glad my friend got me to watch it. What do you guys think? Have you seen it yet? Let me know. As always, like, subscribe. Comment down below and have a wonderful day. Oh, I hit the wrong one. <laughs> wow, I'm trash.